Virgo, what messages does Virgo need to hear? What does Virgo need to hear tonight? What does Virgo need to hear? Just one second. <laughs> this card flew out of the deck. Temperance Angel. Some of you guys are dealing with Sagittarius. That's just angels wanting you to know they are watching you. <laughs> what does Virgo need to hear tonight? Or it could have just been me flying out at you. I am a Sagittarius, so. What does Virgo need to hear tonight? Move this table back. Okay, let's see. Ace of Pentacles. You guys are about to get some big money. Like, God's about to bless you with a brand new stable offer and lots of money. So, you guys have money coming your way and you have your soulmate. <laughs> I love it when this comes out. Virgo, your soulmate is already showing up. The Two of Cups. Here you are. You're single right now. You're very abundant. Um, I do feel like your soulmate's still surrounding you, though. We have the King of Swords. Um, you could have an air sign coming towards you. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, but I also feel like you are like being very um, smart right now, like making head over heart decisions too. Like you could be getting clarity about something. You have Aries energy. So you have some type of soulmate coming towards you. Could be an Aries. Um, it's just somebody who also is like very like alpha, whether they're male or female. This person's like very alpha. Yeah, you're single right now. You're looking good. You have like a lot of options. I feel like you have a lot of options in business and in love. You have somebody coming towards you who's going to communicate. Um, it's going to be like lots of phone calls, lots of text, um, like fast movement. So this is going to happen like really here soon. Um, lots of passion too. Those ones are passion. You could have left this person like out in the cold in the past like you might have like left them but this person wants to come back like you if somebody's coming back it feels like you could kind of have like um your heart chakra blocked off like you're kind of like in the land of indecision you're not really for sure what you want to do yeah you've been healing because something happened to you in the past or the person you're dealing with um you're dealing with somebody who's also healing. They feel left out in the cold. They kind of feel blocked off. Um, it could be communication, okay? This person could be like not okay. So for this is just for a few of you. If if there's somebody watching and you have like a loved one who's incarcerated, um, they're not able to communicate with you right now. Like, because this talks about truth, clarity, communication. This is communication. And then we have healing. And sometimes this reminds me of like incarceration. Like they really don't have a lot to do. So they lay around on their, you know, whatever it is they have in there. That cement slab with a mat. So you have somebody here who's incarcerated who feels left out in the cold because they can't communicate. So maybe they're like in the shoe or the hole or whatever you call it. They're being like punished because of maybe that's something that happened in there. That happens a lot in the jails. Okay. So that's just for a few of you. A few of you are feeling left out. This person's also hiding it from you because the emperor hides and masks things. They don't tell you that they feel like left out in the cold. Um, this person does want to come towards you though. Take a brand new leap of faith. Yeah, they're hiding. What they're hiding is that they do. They feel hurt. This is like deep emotions. They feel left out in the cold. Um, they do want to take a leap of faith with you though. Like they can't wait to, you know, go on a new journey with you. Then we have the King of Wands. This person's like really passionate about you, whether they're male or female. Yeah, they want a reunion. So this person just like can't wait to get to where you are or wait to hear from you or wait to get back to you. Like if you guys are in separation. Yeah, this person, you're going to have a return of somebody. Like somebody wants to like come towards you. With like passion. Um, they want to go out to dinner. Celebrate. Have good times. 
They also can know that there's like competition for you. They don't like that. They are going to hold on to you for like dear life. Like this person's not going to let go of you. Like they feel like you belong to them. Like you're my person and nobody else can have you. Yeah. They want to claim you. This person wants to stake claim to you. They want to be the one who uh, wins you over. Because this is like the wand. Like you're this wand. Like with this king of wands. This person wants to claim you. Like you're the wand here. They've won you from all. Because you had competition. Like this person knows they have competition for you. So what they want to do is they're going to fight all these other people off of you. They're going to claim you because they're holding on to you. They're going to claim you have victory over the other people, which are these five people, uh, other suitors. And then they're going to go sit on their throne with their wand and be like, yep, that's right. I want them. So this person wants to stake claim to you, like hold on to you for dear life. Yeah. Um, they don't want there to be any strife, conflict between you guys. Um, if there was anything that happened in the past, they want to heal that because we had the four of swords and now the three of swords in reverse. That means you guys are healing. You guys are progressing together. Yeah, they want to come towards you with um, a love offer. Like this is the only card in tarot that can bring, the only knight in tarot that brings a soulmate love. So this is a soulmate Virgo. Yeah, you guys were destined to be together. This is like in divine timing. Like you guys are going to come together in divine timing. You guys were also written in each other's soul contracts. Like I said, this person will fight for you. They're not going to let anybody else get you. They also want to invest in you. Like this is somebody who invests years, long times, of, like long years. Um, so this person wants to invest with you. Yeah, this is your destiny. This is dreams coming true. This is like healing. Um written in the stars, written in the soul contract. These two cards together is amazing. Your finances are also going to be very, very amazing also, Virgo. So don't worry about financial things. Um, I also see that you're going to be getting lots of attention with the star card and the six of wands. So if you want the extended reading, I'm going to ask how your soulmate feels about you, what intentions they have with you, and what actions they're going to take. Um, I'll also pull you a free Oracle card reading in the extended. Those are only $5. If you want a personal reading on your person, those are only $17 for a 25 to 30 minute video. If you purchase the personal reading, I'll give you the extended for only $3. So you're going to get two videos. Okay. So that's like a really good deal. So let me move to the extended. But before I do, let me roll you some signs you could be dealing with. And all of that information will be underneath in the description. Okay, we have Virgo, Aries, Aries, Aries. Wow, look at that. So we have Cancer here, Aries, Gemini, 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 Taurus. Look at that. Huge Aries and Gemini energy. Some of you guys are dealing with Taurus and a Cancer and then another Virgo. And then, you know that Gemini is also a Divine Lovers card. And then the Aries is that emperor that was hiding his emotions in the reading, too, by the way. 1171. So Google angel number 1171. And then we have 7112 in the front. So have a good one, Virgo. And if you want the extended, it's only $5. The video will at least be probably about 15 minutes. Anywhere from like 12, 15 minutes. My last one was 17 minutes. So... Um, it's, it's worth five bucks. Okay. Let me tell you. So have a good one.